Hello and welcome to Miniature Realms and welcome to a slightly different video. So many of you who have subscribed and watched a lot of my other videos will be aware that I am a co-host along with my friend Dan of a audio podcast called Out of the Frying Pan which is basically all things Middle Earth but very much focused on Games Workshop's Middle Earth strategy battle game. Um, I've been doing that for uh, a couple of years now. There is a a YouTube channel for it as well, but it's very much a kind of a, a, a sister to the audio podcast, which we occasionally put some unboxings and things like that on there. And on this channel, there is a Middle Earth strategy battle game playlist, and a couple of the videos on there, well, probably the majority of the videos on there, are also viewable on that channel. So it becomes a bit of a, a bit of a dual purpose video thing. Now, this isn't one of those videos. As much as it's Middle Earth related, it's not something that's going to be appearing on that channel because I wanted to take a slightly different approach to this. So what you can see on the video in front of me is I have lots of issues of something called SBG magazine. So strategy battle game. It's a short for the middle of strategy battle game. Um, and I've been buying this as, as and when it's come out for a few years now. It's a fanzine. Um, I wanted to do a bit of a kind of an overview review of it. It's a bit of a mouthful there. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but I think they're fantastic. Um, and it's something that a lot of the, the Middle Earth Stratural Battle game community are aware of. Um, but outside of that community, I know there are a lot of people who are interested in Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth, who do dabble in a bit of Middle Earth gaming, um, who may not have ever heard of this. It's the same with lots of fanzines, I believe, that um, there's often quite sort of small circulations of them. Um, and I've seen a few, a lot of them are PDF or web-based and things, and I'm a member of the Tolkien Society and you get your bi-monthly sort of small fanzine with that and it's it's nice it's all well and good but the quality of this production you know this this publication is absolutely fantastic so i just thought i'll do a really short video i won't keep you too long but do a short video just basically saying look this this thing exists i think it's great um and tell you where you can kind of get a hold of it or look at it if that interests you so what is it and and <laughs> who's responsible for it i suppose is the first thing to look at so it's been going since the autumn of 2014 so it's a it's a slow production there's a little bit of gloss and shine um a glare from the light down on these so i'll pop a few images up on the screen um so you can get a better idea but this is this is issue one and that i'm going to use it to kind of describe what it is um so this is the first issue they did back in autumn of 2014 the magazine's um, created and edited by Tom Harrison and Damien O'Byrne. Now, I've, um, they've both been guests on uh, the Out of the Frying Pan podcast. They are stalwarts of the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game community. Um, they've both been involved in a YouTube channel um, and a YouTube program called The Palantir, which is over on the old Great British Hobbit League channel. Um, and Damien now hosts a fortnightly stream called Battle Streams in Middle Earth, and you can find that as well on YouTube, and I'll put links to these below. So they're, they're well known within the community. Obviously, if you don't know the, the Middle Earth community, you may not have heard of them, but they're, they're kind of figureheads within the community, if you can have such a thing, and, and, you, and you know, if you follow Wargaming, you'll know that there are well-known people, and they're also really, really great guys. And they started to do this fanzine just because they really wanted to kind of recreate the feel the that you got from some of the earlier Star White Dwarfs with modelling um, articles and battle reports and tactica and just kind of general chatter and things like that as well. And I think this, this first kind of issue really, really sums it up. So I'll just pop up the contents page there and you get a bit of an idea. So there's a painting masterclass for white horses. They get other people in to do the, um, the different articles. So you've got experts in their field. Um, Tom's done an article on undercosted warriors. Now, this was back when in the old Hobbit edition, so it's not as relevant now as it would have been back then. But you get the idea. There's a scenario in there. There's a big battle report, um, and there's a kind of editorial type thing. So this is the Doctor's Corner. I'll just pop an image up there now. And this this article, funnily enough, really um, really struck a call with me because he Damien talks a lot about his. Um, sort of experiences as a young lad getting into the game and discovering that it was a nerdy thing and some people thought it was nerdy and how you deal with that and it's a, it's a good discussion piece on it and we actually had Damien back on the podcast to have a discussion around 
society and how we deal with the nerdy side of it. I know a lot of people don't have any issues with it at all. And in my adult years, it doesn't worry me at all anymore. But in my younger years, I definitely hid my like of toy soldiers from certain people at times. So it's a, we had a good discussion around it anyway, but it's a, it's a great article that's uh, linked to wargaming, but not necessarily just about one game. But you get a bit of an idea. So the first three issues of SPG Magazine I actually read as PDFs. Um, they were available free on the internet through a forum at the time. I remember reading them cover to cover, thinking they were absolutely fantastic, um, hoping to find out some more. And then I discovered their YouTube channel and all the other things related to it. And I started getting into um, Middle Earth gaming myself. Um, and then eventually I went and bought the hard copies, which you can see here. So what is, I'll pop a little image up of their, their website, which they have now. I'll pop the link to this website in the show as well. So it's spgmagazine.wixsite.com. And now the first five are actually available to download. There's just free PDFs. So if you're interested, you head over there, download them, have a little read. Um, but you can actually buy any of the 12 regular um, issues as, as printable magazines as well which is what you see before you on the desk here. Um, the very la latest of those arrived in the post today. Now this is the first one I haven't paid for actually, so I'll be completely honest with you, Damien and Tom very kindly sent my myself and Dan review copies for our podcast. Um, Dan did a great video flicking through this page by page over on the Out of the Frying Pan podcast YouTube channel. Again, links in the show notes below. In fact, it's always there. So if you want to go and watch that video as Dan talks through it, that's fantastic. So I won't do that here, but I'll pop a few images on the screen of the, the sort of the latest edition and you can kind of see what things are in it. But they're just absolutely fantastically put together, very professionally done, high quality print. Um, and I just, you know, there's, White Dwarf isn't what it used to be for people who play um, Games Workshop games. Um, especially if you don't play 40k or AOS and many of you people listening to this or watching this don't play games which are games at all so maybe you buy War Games Illustrated and things like that but the essence of these magazines is very very much feels like an, an older White Dwarf or maybe a War Games Illustrated or something like that much more much less adverts and things like that uh, but this issue is mainly focused on um, lockdown gaming and, and, and some of the challenges that um, we've all had as gamers over the last 18 months or so and it focuses on some of the scenarios in the latest book as, at the time of this. There's a new book being announced soon with the latest supplement book, um, Quest for the Ringbearer. And there's lots of really, really cool scenarios doing bits that you'll be very, very famous from the films. And I know Dan and I spent some time this last year playing, using webcams and things, doing those scenarios and actually reviewing them on our podcast. So it's something that's quite poignant to us as well. It's absolutely fantastic. Now there's actually 13 issues in all. Um, there's uh, a couple of fun issues. So this one was an, an April Fool's issue, which you could get as a, I can't, don't know if that's available as a PDF or not, but uh, it was a bit of fun for a time and I, and I, and I bought it as well because I like supporting the guys. And I won't bother trying to explain the in-joke around this if you, you watch their the, the the YouTube channel or the podcast that they used to do it would make sense um, and then there was a there was one in December 2019 called Yule in Dale and there was a, a fun scenario in there where you there was a bit of a, a crossover with um, um, Frozen not Frozen of course um, and uh, and and Dale with wolves in the ice and all kinds of fun th fun things as well. So there's a good scenario that you could read about and and then play yourself. And I believe there was a battle report on top table gaming for it as well. So that's well worth checking out if you haven't seen it already. Now over time, what they tend to do is make more and more of the issues available for free as a PDF. Um, and I think they just want people to go out and, and, and enjoy them, really. So you, the first five issues you see here are all available now via the website that I've shown you already. And again, link will be in the show notes that you can uh, download and just read as, as a PDF. Of course, they are all still available to buy. And they're all themed, as you can see, with issue six there. So this is about Assault on Erebor. Big shiny double spreads with um, really professional photography. They've got some fantastic terrain makers in, on board to build um, boards for them. They just 
absolutely fantastic magazines made by two people in the community and they're doing it they're not doing it for profit um, they do it to cover their costs they do small print runs so they're a little bit more expensive than than a normal magazine but as a fan of Lord of the Rings and, and the community I think they're absolutely brilliant so if you're not really into Lord of the Rings then it, it probably definitely not for you if it's something that you, you like a little bit I know there's a few of you do uh, definitely worth having a look at the the PDF downloads and then if you really really like them then and you wanted to read the the other issues then it's well worth jumping on board and uh, maybe buying some other proper magazines but this is not an advert at all this is a passion thing for me um, I love the guys that do it really really good guys and I love what they produce and I just wanted to uh, share it on the channel a little bit so anyway thanks for watching this little bit of a short and impromptu video um, please do like, share and subscribe and all of that stuff and I will catch you soon.